everybody, Desk Talker here. So I'm out here riding on a Monday afternoon in September. And actually, for the longest time today, I didn't think I was getting to get out. They uh, were calling for a partly cloudy day with, with uh, sun. And it did not happen until about 15 minutes ago. It looked like it was going to rain and be an absolute horrible day. Welcome to fall. And uh, we're just in the start of it now. So of course we still got a lot of nice weather, hopefully. Though that has, has uh, not happened before where we've had really uh, lousy riding weather, but right now, fingers crossed. Turn off for a golf course. And uh, the one thing I just thought I'd bring up since I'm out here for a hopefully a nice afternoon ride is that you know as our season starts to wind down with uh, the cooler days and more importantly the cooler nights is you got to start being careful uh, you've been riding all year in beautiful hot weather tires sticking like glue your body's nice and flexible. That nice summer sun there warming you up. Well, we're now sliding into, like right now I'm just wearing a, a, a golf shirt underneath my leathers, but I can feel the cold air cutting through my leathers and it's like, hmm, next week I might be wearing a long sleeve shirt under here and week after that it might be a sweater. And if I get up in the morning, this is, for people that commute to work really sucks is because it's freezing cold so you're looking at getting your uh, your uh, winter riding gloves or your cold weather gloves or you know, your cold weather riding gear on the way to work and on the way home you're seriously thinking of squitting it because the cold weather gear you have is uh, too warm for the the weather conditions and I've been down that for like the probably 30 years I, I worked when I was commuting to work this springtime and fall were always the worst times for, for dressing for uh, motorcyclists because it's always too cold in the morning and too hot in the afternoon but that works that way for your tires too first thing in the morning the pavements had the whole night to cool off and if your bike's parked in a typical normal garage or driveway, it's the same way. Your tires are, are have the consistency of a hockey puck if you're a Canadian or an American that knows what hockey is. And it takes a long time for them to actually work up enough temperature to actually work like they're supposed to. So you have to be a heck of a lot more careful when you're uh, riding in conditions like this. And this is what you get in fall. And in the springtime, you know that because it's the start of the season, you know, you're a little rusty, you, you have to be a little careful. But in the summertime, you know, the weather's beautiful, you get to ride how you feel like. And you, the fall weather sort of sneaks up on you. So you're out here riding, like in a day like today, and you know, it could be a roadway that's just shaded by trees, and you come around a corner, and all of a sudden, boom, you're on the ground. And that's because the asphalt is not as warm you know or there could be like a slightly wet rainy day and you're just running into the conditions where you uh could end up uh sliding off simply because your tires just haven't gotten the heat in them to actually do their job so it's really really important to be a, a little more careful you know you don't want to end your riding season with you know an injury or or worse and also the you don't want to be looking at your motorcycle while it's being hauled away in a wrecker because it's the weather wasn't quite as good as it normally is and you know your nice shiny motorcycle is now written off or you're looking at a very expensive bill especially if you don't have uh 
collision insurance. So right now, like the weather's great. You know, if you have a, a higher performance bike, you know, like an RC 51 or a Jixer or a, K, a you know a Kawasaki Ninja, you have to be extra careful because those motorcycles have a lot of horsepower. The normal bikes, uh, the, the new the new normal bikes, even the sport bikes have you know traction control, slide control, and stuff like that. So you can actually get a little bit of electronic help. Uh, the traction control is uh, uh, the guy behind the camera here on this bike. There is no electronic aid. So I have to be very conscious of that. But, uh, you know, just like I say, just try to be careful. Enjoy the weather. You know, and if you're one of the fortunate ones that live in the south or in a climate where the you know, you're asking what this winter thing is, I'd just like to say, we of the North hate you. Nah, just kidding. You're riding a bike, you're okay. But we're jealous. Very, very jealous. Anyways, that's all. Death Stalker. Oh, it was gravel. No, I'm not going down here now. Signing off. Oh, they charged and tipped the road.